Welcome to our training on the Brand Analytics Search Catalog Performance Report. Brands enrolled in Amazon Brand Registry enjoy access to a suite of additional selling benefits, including the Brand Analytics tool in Seller Central. In this video, we'll review the features and functionality of one of the reports you'll find in Brand Analytics Search Catalog Performance. This report provides brands with insights into the ways customers interact with their products after searching the Amazon store. It can help them identify customer drop-off points for their products or find gaps in discoverability and sales conversion. You can access the Search Catalog Performance Report and others in the Brand Analytics tool if you're a seller internal to a brand enrolled in Brand Registry. Simply select Brands in the main menu in Seller Central, then click Brand Analytics, or click All Brand Benefits, then locate the Brand Analytics card. For more information about accessing Brand Analytics and other Brand Registry tools, see our modules in Seller University about requesting or managing access to brand selling benefits. After accessing the Brand Analytics tool, you can select Search Catalog Performance from the list of reports at the top of the screen. The report lists your brand's products by title. In the second column, you'll see product ASINs and categories. Then you'll see a sequence of metrics that represents customer activity throughout the shopping funnel. Impressions is the number of times a product appeared on search results pages and includes both organic and sponsored products. This number doesn't include product appearances in widgets like those for highly rated products or new arrivals. Next to impressions, you'll see the median price the product appeared with. For example, a pair of sunglasses that are a part of your brand appeared on search results pages 100 times with a median price of $50. Clicks is the number of times customers clicked a product after it appeared on search results pages. Next to clicks, you'll see the click rate for the product, which is the percentage of time it was clicked by customers. For example, if your sunglasses were clicked 50 times after having 100 impressions, their click rate would be 50%. Cart ads is the number of times customers searched, clicked, then used the Add to Cart button on the product's detail page to put it in their cart for purchase later. For example, after receiving 50 clicks, your sunglasses might have 25 cart ads. Purchases is the number of times that customers searched, clicked, then ordered the product. This metric includes your sales as well as the sales of other sellers who list the product. Next to the number of purchases, you'll see the amount in associated sales as well as the conversion rate for the product, which is the percentage of time it was purchased after being clicked by customers. For example, maybe 10 pairs of your sunglasses were purchased by customers for a total of $525. The conversion rate in this scenario would be 20% because 10 pairs were purchased after the product received 50 clicks on search results pages. Note that the metrics in the Search Catalog Performance Report are specific to search and may not match metrics available in other Amazon reports and dashboards. That's because every report and dashboard defines and presents customer activity differently. When you first access the Search Catalog Performance Report, it'll be defaulted to show products across all your brands for the previous week. You can use the drop-down menus at the top to view a specific time period. When doing so, keep in mind that data is generally available in Brand Analytics within 72 hours. After selecting a time period, click the Apply button to refresh the report. You can also use filters to narrow the report for a specific brand or collection of products. Click Show Filters and use the drop-down menu to select a brand. Or enter up to 100 ASINs in the search bar separated by either a space or comma. Then click the Refine Results button to refresh the report. If you'd like to add or remove columns on the Search Catalog Performance Report, click Customize Columns on the right-hand side, then check or uncheck boxes in the pop-up. Click the Save button to return to the updated report. To download a copy of the report, click the Generate Download button. Then in the pop-up, select either Simple View to download the report you see on screen or select Comprehensive View to download the report with all relevant columns. Click the Generate Download button to start your download, which you can monitor by accessing the Download Manager. 
Finally, if you want more information about how a specific metric is calculated, click Metrics Glossary to see a set of comprehensive definitions. On the Metrics Glossary page, you can expand each section to see additional details. We encourage brands to use all the features and functionality of the Search Catalog Performance Report to gain insights into their performance in the Amazon Store. Use drop-off points at the click stage to decide which product detail pages might need updating. Or use other metrics to develop advertising strategies that can help drive more traffic to your products. This concludes our overview of the Search Catalog Performance Report. If you'd like step-by-step -step instructions for other brand analytics reports, see our series of modules in Seller University. Thank you, and happy selling in the Amazon Store!